Hello beautiful creatures, welcome back to Of Crafts and Curios. Today I am going to be showing you how I made the tiny basket for my recent Poppet doll video that I showed here on my YouTube channel. I made this basket for some little toadstools and someone asked how I actually made the basket itself so I thought I'd show you as it's really simple. You're only going to need a few supplies like a really basic cardstock, some tacky glue, scissors, um, I also grabbed some little pegs to help hold together things without getting my fingers all sticky but if you don't worry about that you don't need those and then any kind of twine that you have lying around. I have lots of twine because I'm always making things with twine but one of my favorites to use for baskets is like braided jute rope or um, bur like burlap sack fabric -y kind of twine but any twine will work. So to begin with, in the same fashion as the little hat tutorial I did recently, you're just going to cut a little strip of cardboard or cardstock. This is, again is kind of medium weight, it's not like paper but it's not card cardboard. And you're just going to cut a strip that's the kind of thickness that you want the height of the basket to be. You can do a bigger basket, a little basket, it's really up to you and your doll proportions. So taking your piece of card that is now a little strip, I'm just going to make a little circle because this basket was circular. I'll also show you how to make a like rectangular basket if you wanted to make a picnic basket or something. But because my cardstock is quite thick, I only need to do one loop round, but you can do as many loops as you want to make it as secure as you would like it to be. And then just using a little peg, I'm going to hold that in place so when I go to glue it, I'm not going to get super sticky. As for a rectangular shaped basket, you could score the measurements that you make for your basket if you wanted a nicer, cleaner fold. But if you want a rounded, cornered, you didn't need to score your cardboard. And I am using the entire length of the strip to help reinforce the shape as it is more likely to distort and warp compared to a circular basket. Now just taking my tacky glue, I am going to glue in place the strip where it overlaps. I use tacky glues because it seals faster and I can work faster, but if you don't have a tacky glue, you don't need to use a tacky glue. Regular glue will hold it in place as well as it is just paper. And once those are dry, I'll just remove my little pigs and I'll begin to add a bottom to my basket. To do so I'm just going to take more of the cardboard sheet that I was using and I'm just literally going to glue that shape onto some cardboard. To assure a tight seal on the glue I did weigh down these while I was gluing them together so that they sealed nicely. And then you're just going to trim around the base of the shape and your basket will have a bottom. And now it is time to move on to covering the base shape with the twine of your choice. I use this braided twine as it kind of stretches out perfectly to look like a weaved basket. You can use uh, regular twine and just wrap it around in a circular motion to achieve the exact same kind of feel and look. I show one of those at the end because I really hate in tutorials when people use really specific supplies that you might not be able to replicate at home because every craft store sells different things. But this is the method I used and this kind of jute rope, twine, ribbon, whatever you call it, is available on Amazon and AliExpress so you can get those if you really want to make this kind of basket. But yeah, so I just stretched that out and wrapped it around. I did the same for the bottom and now the base shape of your basket is completed. I use regular twine to add a kind of lip to the top of the basket because I think that just kind of makes it look a little more realistic and really cute. But of course it's totally optional, you don't have to add a lip to your basket. Mm -hmm. 
And now for the basket handle, you're gonna need a little bit of malleable wire. You could use a unfolded paper clip or the inside nose part of your disposable face mask or any kind of sort of malleable wire to make the shape of your handle. And once you're happy with the shape and depth, you're gonna take a regular twine rope and you're just going to wrap around in a circular motion, twisting and covering all of the exposed wire with that twine and gluing it in place as you go around and around. And then you just wanna see where you wanna place it inside the basket, if you want it on the line of the seam or what makes sense for the position your doll is going to be holding it in and then just taking your tacky glue you're going to anchor that in place and that's it that will be your basket you can call it a day you've finished it's really that simple to make a cute little basket I made a bunch so that I could show you different shapes sizes looks etc um, see I used just jute rope for one and it looks just as cute and impressive and I actually used the like barrel or thimble of a spool of ribbon to make that shape so that was really easy and you can repurpose any kind of circular trash into a little basket and a final step that I like to do is to take some fabric scraps that I have from excess from making doll clothes and lining the basket with it so that there's like a nice little sort of filling out so you don't have to stuff your basket with so much polymer clay shapes or whatever you want to put in your little basket and it just kind of adds a little accessory pop of color to tie it into your outfit or anything like that and it also hides your glue and seam lines inside the basket so that's what I'm doing here as my final final touch And here are the finished baskets. I'm just using my cottagecore doll, who has kind of become my tutorial doll, to show you all the different types of baskets and how she looks with the different sizes and shapes. I really like the little just jute rope basket and I love the square one. I can see myself making a little lid and a picnic blanket to go alongside with those. So cute! And yeah, I just like the variation that you can create with this really simple method and they look so effective and so cute regardless of what twine you have available to you. And yeah, making all these little baskets has just inspired me to really lean heavily into my cottagecore fantasy and just make a million little foraging, harvesting dolls because they're just so cute and easy to make and so effective. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and maybe you learned something and I hope you guys make little baskets for your dolls. If you did like this, do leave us a like, a comment and a subscribe. Check me out over on Instagram at of crafts and curios and I'll see you guys so so soon with another video doll custom and as always more crafts and more curios. Mm -hmm.